I'm Lisa Jones. Here are your top stories at Two Works For You. Fire crews are investigating what caused this house fire that forced a Berry Hill family out of their home. This happened late last night near West 31st Street and South 63rd West Avenue. Eight people were inside the house at the time, including three children who were staying the night for a sleepover. No one was injured. The Tulsa Department, uh, Fire Department that is, needs your help in finding an arson suspect from a Midtown apartment fire. Authorities say they believe that Roosevelt Tullen is the one who started the fire. At least 60 people were left without a home. Elementary students in the Union Public School District could go to a different school this time next year. District leaders will discuss plans tonight on rezoning three elementary schools. It comes as Ella Och Ellen Ochoa Elementary is under capacity. That's compared to Rosa Parks, Clark and Bevers that are at or over capacity. The meeting is at 7 tonight. And let's get a check of today's forecast with uh, meteorologist Clint Boone. Good morning. It has been a frigid start to our day with temperatures in the teens. This afternoon, we're going to see temperatures warm into the middle 40s in Tulsa with a west wind about 5 to 10. You should see a lot of sunshine. Later on in the day, there will be a cold front moving in throughout the early evening hours. And that's going to be dropping our temperatures, giving us some blustery north winds and wind chills. They're going to be dropping off in the single digits as we head into tomorrow morning. So by about to 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, wind chills about 4 to 7 across green country, across southeast Kansas, wind chills below zero. Here's a look at your forecast for the next seven days. Coldest day will be tomorrow and then heading into Thursday. We begin that warm up lower 50s, upper 50s for Friday and then middle to upper 60s. Nice and balmy for the upcoming weekend. All right, thank you, Clint, and thanks for tuning in to this digital news update. Keep checking back for updates throughout the day.